Hi everyone, my name is Rhonda Robson and I'm with Rhonda's Tri Artistry. In today's fluid art video, I'm going to be doing canvas number two of a triptych, which is a total of 15 flip cups. So it's a, the flip cup technique, pouring technique. And I'm doing the second canvas, like I said, in this triptych. And so the second canvas looks like this right here. And I wanted a lot more pink, as I said in the last one. And so the next time I do one, I'm gonna make sure I have more pink instead of the orange. But I really loved how the colors flowed together on this. My horizon making that straight, having the blues and greens. Um, I probably would have liked to have had my horizon up a little bit more, but I intended on it being lower, specifically because of the third canvas that you're gonna see in the next video. That one has some sand in it and I wanted to make the sand connecting to the horizon so I didn't want the horizon clear up here so anyway you'll see that in the next video but today is about this one here and so let's get you down the canvas please don't forget to subscribe and to click that notification bell and let me know down below what you thought about these first two canvases all right talk to you soon bye for now bye hi everyone all right well number two of my triptych today and uh, this one is going to be hopefully a little bit easier than the last one that I just did. The first one I did was the middle. Uh, this one will be the left side. So here are the cups for the left side. And with the last one, I did the horizon right around 12 inches. So I'll measure that before I put my um, Payne's Gray on it as well. All right, well, let's go ahead and get these flipped. letting them sit to let the air kind of or the Earth's paint just here a layer of gases surrounding the planet Earth <laughs> by the Earth's gravity. Alexa did something for me yeah anyway all right <clears throat> we did this one last so let's do this one first Ooh, look at all the pink on that one through there okay I'm gonna get the corners right away before I forget about them Now I wish I would have had a little bit of that bright pink in the last one that I did. I didn't do pink because I was hoping to do more yellow in that area. I'll let that one sit right there. pink all oh, the coral and all the orange kind of got capsulated by all the blues 
All right, well, let's get these off to the side for now. And let's work this stuff. It's interesting how that created some cells, which I probably should. this torch. Yuck, yuck, yuck. All right, well, let's go this way first. Let's go this way next. Let's go this way just to get the paint in the center again. Now let's go that way. Got to get that corner up there. So I'm going to let this sit for just a few moments, take it back to the center a little bit. I'm going to get my corners and my sides. Super cool, though. Uh, this whole thing in here looks awesome. Okay. All right. Well, I had to uh, change out cameras, so hopefully you didn't miss out too much of stuff. And I was just taking... It down here to get it off the sides. I've got most of it off the side now, um, off the end there, but I think I'm going to move the paint a little bit this way. I just want to make sure. It's still going. All right, good. So let's move it back this way a little bit to get this off the edge. And then we'll move it back that way because I want to make this straight here. So, all right, here we go. I do have a spot right here I need to touch up and the corner. There's a spot down here. I'm just gonna let that go so that I can make this straighter. So this will flow that way there. It'll get more and more straight. Same thing with this guy here. Okay, now let's go ahead now that the weight of the paint is over here, let's move it down this way a little bit into that corner. So, <clears throat> I am 
am gonna get some pinks. Try to find some pink anyway. Try to go down the streak of there. Okay, so it's straightened itself out now. And so now I'm just kind of creating some color in some of the areas that I feel are a little bit just too much blue, too much, not enough pink, that type of stuff. So not enough dark blue. And then I'll bring it back this way as well. So, be kind of cool. All right. <clears throat> now let's come over here and do the same thing up in this area here. Um, well, before I do that, let me get my horizon going as well. Let me get that taken care of so that you have that. And the horizon is the gray, the paint's gray, and we need it about 12 inches up or down. However, 12 inches up from the bottom. All right, so, which would be about, yep, right here. So that's where my horizon's gotta be. So, that means I'm gonna have to put some more pink in here too as well. But let me grab this so I have it. What exactly? Okay. Just put that right there.
So now I'm going to do the same thing over here. Um, so you may or may not be able to see because it'll be probably in your way. But how about if I do this? How about if I move you so that you're here so I'm not in your way? All right. So now I got to do the same thing with the pink and the blue in order to create my horizon. Keeping it right around that 12 inch mark, okay? And you want to try to keep the same colors, add a little bit of color is fine. It's just that you want to make sure that the same colors are in the same area. So you don't want pink if you don't want to have a little bit of pink in the blue area or you don't want green up in the pink area, that type of stuff. So you've got to be careful with that, making sure that what you're doing because I put a little bit of accidentally put a little bit of orange in my blue area, which would be fine if I wanted the sunset or the sunrise portion of it in there, but I don't. So I'm, I'm hanging on to this just a little bit longer of this direction because I'm trying to get all that orange off of there. And while that's going, I'm going to get this corner here. to get <clears throat> there's some blue right here that I'd like to get off okay so I'm going to bring this this way just a little bit tilt it up a little bit more and then get some pink going down in that direction Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it back the next, this direction this way, okay? So I'm gonna move that that way. Um, the other thing I think I wanna do is I wanna put some of this dark blue down in here because this seems to be like it's a cut, cut. I don't mind the cut here and I don't mind the cut here but I don't want my sky to have that much. Does that make sense? So um, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna move you back to over here. There we go. Whoops, kind of jiggly, sorry. So yep, so that is right around 12 inches. So that'll be nice for my other uh, side of my triptych. Okay, so remember what I said, I want some more of this darker blue. Get this pink off of here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tilt this this way. And I'm gonna grab some of this dark, come around, because I don't want it to drip on it. to go like that.
trying not to get some blue with some orange in it. So I got a lot of blue with orange instead of the pink. I want more pink. That's okay. And if you hit the same spot, the weight of the paint will help you to go faster in that one area. And some more pink up there in the sky portion. That's cool. Okay, so now that I've got that, I'm gonna bring it back this direction a little bit. Cool. Which means I gotta move you again. Over here so you can see. And let's go ahead go back this direction. like to get some of this off the edge there so I'm gonna bring it back this way one more time let me see some of that go off the edge and then I think we're done with this one I see some weight of the pink one over I think that looks pretty good. And it did come over, so that's what I was hoping for. I really wanted that to come up over the top of the edge there. So I think I'm going to go back a little bit with this pink. I want to go back that way just a little bit more. Okay, I think I'm good. Number two in the books. Love it.
Thanks for watching, and if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.